So I'm trying to do Stanley VR now. Uh, the Stanley Parable Deluxe Edition came out a few days ago. And I got it working pretty well. I got the VR camera working. I got uh, motion controllers working. They're not really that useful in this game, but I can use the VR laser to, as usual, simulate the camera cursor or whatever. So, yeah, I can aim the laser and stuff, interact with them. Yeah, the game looks fine. Uh, everything is actually half the size, so I had to scale, like make everything twice as big, so it looks normal size. Uh, when I first got into the game in VR, everything looks tiny and cute. Uh, but now, now it's normal. <laughs> you can move along, ignore the new content thing. So, yeah, if uh, if you haven't played the game, I'm not gonna give any like huge spoilers about it. But I am gonna uh, ruin the magic a little bit by showing you how stuff works so if you don't want that if you haven't played the game or if you played only a little bit then probably don't watch this uh yeah so one of the things that i noticed right away that was broken in vr was this door so this door is fine this is the door i can go through the door come back everything looks normal but this one, so the first time that I looked at it, I knew that something was wrong right away. Now I fixed it, so it kind of looks fine. But you can tell that if I put my hand through the door, there's actually something here. This is just an illusion. It's a portal. It's basically a, a painting of a room that's somewhere else. And when you walk through this Mario 64 painting, you end up somewhere else. It's just that they did it in a way that's it's kind of like the, the game Portal. It works basically the same way. You, you walk through it, you don't really notice that you walk... In this case, you don't really notice that you walk through a portal. It's supposed to be imperceptible. It's just to make it easier for them to build the levels and also allows them to do all kinds of tricks with their level design. So... If I walk through it, I go to the actual room. You can see slight blinking, that's also a VR issue, it's not there in the normal game. But if I, instead of moving my body forward, which is using the analog stick here, instead of moving the Stanley forward, if I just move my head forward, I can make the camera go through the portal without Stanley going through the portal, and I see what's actually behind the portal, so you can tell it's slightly different. The portal shows me a room that has like a gray line here on the floor, but if I move my head through it, uh, yeah, there's no line there, it's slightly different. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, but the portal is a bit low resolution compared to the real thing, and that's because the portal resolution is based on the wi Unity window resolution instead of based on the VR headset resolution, which is how it should be. So if I walk through it, everything's fine. Then the door closes and I can actually... I can put my head through the door and it's a completely different room. There's no doors there. So yeah, that's interesting. And yeah, I guess this is an episode of Boundary Break now. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch more portals throughout the game. Like, the whole game is designed like that. Here you got another one. Uh, this is a portal as well. If I move my head through it, it's actually nothing on the other side. And yeah, this right now this is a problem because when I move my head, Stanley's body isn't moving, so if I move my head far enough, uh, it's gonna be in a like really far from where Stanley is standing. 
kind of breaks a lot of stuff and it allows me to go through walls and all this. Uh, pretty common stuff in VR mods until they yeah, until we implement like actual proper tracking. So because of that, like my head is never going to be exactly in the position of Stanley's like Stanley's feet. It's not going to be exactly in the same position. So whenever I'm going through one of these portals, there's always like a slight, like one frame of white like this. I always see like a little bit of something happening. And that's because, yeah, there's one frame where I'm in this spot where Stanley's body has been through the portal, but my, my face hasn't. So I'm, I'm stuck in this limbo in between portals. But yeah, everything else kind of works fine. But the, if you know the game, yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens throughout the game. A lot of weird cameras and... Yeah, a lot of that stuff is going to have to be handled manually. Or like, individually. But yeah, other than that, the game is working pretty well. Uh, UI is, is a bit of an issue still. Like, it's not... got the pause menu working but only when I'm only when I'm looking in a certain direction for whatever reason disappears like you yeah, have no idea what's going on there uh, yeah I'm gonna have to decide if I want to turn this into a fully fledged VR mod or not because it might yeah it might just be too much work for maybe not that big of a payoff because I mean yeah I'm not sure how much the experience is enhanced by by VR it's not really a good looking game but yeah it's still nice still cool to, to, to be inside it and yeah they got laser works here so yeah I'm gonna soon I'm gonna release a first test version like still very broken but less broken than this i'm gonna try to to make it at least yeah able to start up the game without having to use all the debug commands that i set up so that people can actually test it and not like cra constantly crash the game and it's gonna be closed access like exclusive for my patreons for a while and eventually i'll make it open source and free for everyone just like my firewatch mod and my Autowise mod and all the other mods that I'm going to make them open soon. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Um, if there are any other games that you'd like to see in VR, please let me know. I'm always up to trying new games. Unity games. So, yeah. Thank you. See you later.